everybody, welcome back to another Shop Talk Tuesday. So, if you're new to this series, what this is all about is a commentary, kind of back and forth thing where y'all leave comments and ask questions and then I go and I answer the questions or talk about the comments or highlight one or two. Um, and then we also talk about stuff that I've got working in the background, stuff that won't make it to videos, and then stuff that will make it to videos that are going to be coming up in the future. Um, plus, I give you all a look at a tool that I use in the shop on a daily basis that makes my life easier. And uh, what we're going to start off with is a few comments. Now, we got one comment from William Gonzalez, and um, he asked for me to baton this through some wood. This is that drop point recurve that has the hammer finish that's a quarter of an inch thick. He wants me to take this beautiful knife and hammer it through some wood. And I'm going to do it. We're going to do that. So I'm going to do this in next week's Shop Talk Tuesday. It'll be kind of a reward for the people who actually watch these videos. And it's typically my, my uh, subscribers that watch every single video that watches these. So this won't be on a Friday video. This is going to be on a Shop Talk Tuesday and kind of a reward for y'all that actually watch all these videos. Um, so we're going to take this. And this is my own knife. This is not one for a customer. I'm not typically going to baton the customer's knife through wood. Uh, but I do, you know, do edge retention tests with them, just not so much batoning them through wood. Uh, but I'm going to do that on this so y'all can actually watch that. Y'all uh, be looking forward to that. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you actually get notified of whenever I start doing that. Um, so we've got that going. Uh, so thank you again, William, for that uh, comment. And then we also have another one. Um, it was from James Flinner. Uh, hopefully I didn't mess that name up. Uh, Flinner. Uh, he asked if on this little uh, clip point right here, if this had like a different finish on it. So it's not that it's a finish. This is actually a file right here, James. So... All of this up here is what was left from the file. Always leave a little extra right here so that you can tell that it used to be a file. This is another one that's really thick. So uh, I've got one that I'm going to be making that's kind of like this. Uh, and I'm going to show you all here that in a minute. This one has a little lanyard on the back right there. So that's pretty cool. But that is what that is. Uh, it's the file that gives it that look. It's not so much that I did a finish on it or anything like that. Um, so that's kind of the comments right there. And thank you all for leaving those. Um, if you would, use the comment section. Let's talk back and forth. Let's actually, you know, utilize that part of this video. Um, what I do want to tell you all is... Uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pause on this for a second. So, one of the things that I've wanted y'all to start doing is sending me pictures of y'all's knives. Uh, I want y'all to send me an email. I've got that email in the description. Uh, but yeah, send me an email of y'all's knives. And it doesn't matter if they're beginner's knives or expert knives, stuff that you just started making or you've been making for 15 years, uh, all you need to do is send me a picture with a description of what the knife is, what you made it out of, uh, how long you've been making knives, what your name is. If you're a YouTuber, what's your YouTube channel? So I can link that in the description. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about y'all actually doing that. I did have a person go ahead and send me a picture of one of his knives, and that is uh, Kyle from Plant Based Outdoors. Thank you for starting us off, Kyle. Uh, if y'all haven't yet, go check out his channel. Um, this is his knife right here. So this, this thing right here, this beautiful knife, this is one that he made. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel yet, I don't know what you're doing because I've suggested check out his channel probably 20 times. <laughs> so go check out his channel. The link for that is in the description below. Uh, but he did this knife right here. Um, guys... Tell me what y'all think about his knife. I'm pretty sure he'd be interested to, you know, see what y'all think. Uh, but if y'all would, you know, use that. Send them to the email. Tell me about them so that I can actually do more 
and I'll probably end up doing two, three, four, maybe five per Shop Talk Tuesday if y'all actually start doing that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's talk about what we have going on in the background. So things that I have in the works, a few knives. These are typically, you know, I've always got knives that I'm making for customers. And uh, we've got these going on right now. This is a couple more drop point recurves, just like the one with the hammer finish on it. So we got those going. Plus, we got some more clip points. Now, this is the full size version of like this. So this is the smaller version. Plus, I showed you all a previous version that's a little bit bigger than this that was made out of a file. Well, this is the full size version. So whenever I make the file knives, the handles can't be full size like this. They have to be a little bit smaller. But this is full length, full size handle, everything and a little clip point. I might be doing a video dedicated to just one of these clip points right here. Uh, if y'all want me to do that, y'all just let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. Don't really need to do a video for these because y'all have already seen me make one of them. But that's what I've got going on in the background. Uh, I've got a few other things going on, but it's not nothing really super special. Uh, yeah, I don't know, y'all might think it's special, but We'll, we'll leave that for next video. Um, what I have coming out in the videos is a few things. For one, this right here. You see the reflection of the camera and the tools back there. <laughs> so we've got this coming out. This is called the Fang. It's got leopard print or a leopard uh, wood handle scales on it. It's got a few awesome things. This is one of the longest knives that I've made so far. Got a video coming out for this. Plus, we'll have a video for this file knife. This is the same type of file as that little uh, clip point. So, thick. This is 0.29 inches, so it's over a quarter inch thick. This is going to be a beefy son of a gun, and that is the rivulet shape. I'm going to be doing a video just for that knife right there, because I haven't done a video for a file knife in a while. And a few of y'all uh, have sent me messages and asked for that. Not just on here, but also on my Facebook page. Uh, and if y'all haven't checked that out yet, it's just TRE Workshop uh, on Facebook. So go check that out. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Um, so another video is actually going to be on the tool that I'm talking about in this video. Now this is my 2x72 that I just got. Um, I'm going to be doing a video for this one right here. Uh, I might release this on Friday. Um, and then do my uh, that fang knife for the next Friday. But this thing is absolutely amazing. So this is the KMG by Beaumont Metalworks. And uh, this is just their simpler 2x72 with uh, their 1.5 horse uh, motor. Uh, it's got the three stage pulley set up to where you can go with, uh, three different speeds on it. I've absolutely loved this so far. These four knives that I did, the drop point recurve and the clip point that are right there, this has done all of the work on them. So yeah, I'm going to be releasing a video of uh, me unboxing this and kind of putting it together, things like that. Might go ahead and do that, yeah, like on Friday. Uh, but yes, this thing has been a time saver. It is absolutely amazing. I don't suggest that if you're just now getting into knife baking that you buy one of these. You need to buy like a 1x30 from Harbor Freight or something like that and practice with it before you end up doing this. Uh, and I know I've only been making knives for just under a year, uh, but I'm making so many knives now that it's almost necessary for me to have something like this because I was going through so many abrasives, uh, different belts and things like that on the 1x30 and the 2x48 that I had made. Um, but it was definitely something that needed to be upgraded in the, or needed to be upgraded in the shop. So y'all be looking forward to that video. Plus I am going to be doing a video for the new Forge. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do one of the... Um, I've got these uh, helium tanks. I haven't decided whether I'm going to use a helium tank or if I'm going to end up using one of these massive ammo cans so maybe y'all can uh y'all can tell me what y'all 
want me to do it out of. If y'all want me to try and do the helium tank, I can do that. If you want me to try uh, and just make one out of the big old ammo cans, uh, I might do that. Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all want to see. And uh, be looking forward to this. Uh, if you haven't yet, bottom corner, hit the subscribe button. Uh, turn on notifications so you actually get notified of when these come out. You know, the chopping wood thing and all that. Make sure you're notified for those videos. Uh, if you would, give this video a thumbs up and uh, share it. Or share one of my videos that I've done in the past that might be your favorite. Uh, I will have videos at the end of this video that you can click on and check out. Uh, you should check those out. It's going to be some pretty cool uh, content. Uh, but, yeah, when it comes to this one, guys, y'all have an amazing day. Thank y'all for checking this out, and I'll catch y'all next time.